Yeah, well, Van Helsing has just convinced Arthur and Quincy to go with him, the, him and uh, Seward to the uh, the crypt at night. After oh. and it, oh. yeah, so so you've heard of the Bluefer Lady? I've heard. Oh, oh, the Bluefer Lady has been around. The Bluefer Lady's been bloofing. The Bluefer There's nothing lady. I love more than getting bloofed on the moors late at night. Wait, or wait, early wait, are you saying? I just want to be clear. Are you saying Bluefer or yeah, Bluefer? B, B B L O O F E R. So the Bluefer okay. Lady is what a bunch of Cockney children call yeah. the beautiful lady. Who, who, yeah. who keeps leading children away and all the missing and, children. And, and somehow they all have they all have um, very similar pinpricks on their necks. Yeah. Um, very, very um, mysterious um, and bizarre. Yeah. We are... In any event, uh, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Top Flight That was a pretty subdued intro, to be honest. Well, I, I went live right when Sierra and I were laughing. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, what, what to happened explain, was I was yeah. yeah. No, you please, please. No, 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 no. You please explain. I would actually like to know what happened because so I was better. I looked down to arrange my <laughs> yeah. dice and then I everyone nothing. turned I basically, off. And I, I was you were talking about Dracula, a book I know well and have read on numerous occasions, and I was nodding like, oh, okay. When you started saying so, like here's like Arthur. You're like so like uh, Van Helsing's been saying Arthur and Quincy, and I'm like uh huh uh huh. And Sierra at peak sarcasm. In, in in her corner there was just was just going mm. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 so like also what happened was like you were just like and and fucking and then I went oh <laughs> and what then, and then some... you described it and I was like oh okay there was some, <laughs> there was some, there was some vi- there was some visual acting there was some facial expression I remember Excellent. a uh, one of the meanest things I ever saw but also God as it was funny was one time we had like a, I think we had like a sub in a class at school. God, we were fucking assholes in high school. But this one guy like asked the sub a question. And then as the sub started giving an answer, like pulled out his notebook and took like the most like aggressive notes while like nodding as if he was so interested in it. And it's like, it's like such a dick thing to do. And like, I like I don't even oh, know if well. the sub realized, but like on just the idea of like, like what is, what is the meaning of that? Oh, like, oh God, terrible, but also really funny on what level. Um, anyway, hello, everyone. We're happy uh, We're happy to have you here um, for this Top Flight Tales. Um, we're uh, we're down a couple heroes today, but that's okay. Some will be out for a while. Some are just out. Gone but not forgotten. Well, yes. And also, in terms of Amazing based on the game. Amazing grace. Oh, burr, burr, How burr, sweet burr. the sound. So, so the Dan, sound. Um, because, because KJ is not here to take direct offense, you made a request. Oh, that, you boy, did I. You made a request. That Wait, that, what if we, can we up the odds on this? What if all of us roll? And if any of us get a 13 and a half? Oh, that's a possibility. If you all want to grab your D13s, you could do that. I was also going to simply increase the likelihood that it's a new game, but what 13 represents will be a particularly something new game. I don't want to I don't want to take your special boy stats away from you though, Dan. I don't I, I look as long as I get to roll. I I don't care. Special boy stats. Like I the more the merrier. But you know, this is like just something that I personally enjoy doing. Um I guess ev- tell you what, everyone please roll a D13. I don't one. have one. You don't? No. No, I think we gave you one in the in really? years ago. Yes. Yeah. No. It's, it's, what? You didn't get a little jail in cell it, thing. Oh, and a... oh my gosh. Uh, if, if you don't I've have been... it handy, don't worry about it. No, I've been moving. I so... know. You don't have it handy. You're fine. <laughs> I, well, I, I, I hope you haven't been Would you like me to roll one on your Between path? games every week. <laughs> No, I've just been staying here and only here. Should I roll one on your behalf? Like yes, please. It's like audition where she's just staring. He's like, "We'll call you." And oh cuts my to the gosh! Staring at the phone, sitting on the ground. That's just Sierra. Whenever we're done playing. No, please. So please tell me oh. when to drop, so it is you. Sort of, you are in control of the dice. And go. It's not thirteen. I really thought it was about to be. All right, Dan. What have we rolled, my friend? One. One. Pierce, what do you have? 11. Well, I'm here to tell you. We have 1, 3, and 11. So we could take the 1 and the 3 and say it's 13. Because <laughs> mm, uh, Sierra's a little 13. A 3. I, I would like that. I don't. It doesn't feel like. It, that just that just feels like desperate. You know? Like, it is pretty desperate. 
It's pretty desperate, and like as much as I want this, I'm not desperate. I have, I'm not however, on my knees realized for it. that there is a dirty flaw, slut. There is Look, a we lost with... the election. We can miss. We can admit we lost the election. He, here is the problem, though. There is now a flaw in this that I am only now realizing and should have realized earlier. We were Who's rolling. Who's doing it? Yeah, we were rolling on a table, so all three of you got to roll. And now there's multiple options have been selected by this roll, so that's well. A now I guess now I guess we all roll a d20 to see who gets the highest, and then a person rolls a d13 again, and that's when we go with. Okay, everyone roll a d20. Jesus, that's convoluted. Six, eight, <gasps> ten, ten. <laughs> all right. So when... And wait, go. I have to well, think of a. I have fine. To, I have to confirm a thing in my brain. So it's going to be blunt, blunt, blunt. Okay. Go. Okay. So we have rolled a 12. Oh. A 12 means, according to the thing I just created, that we are starting a new game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not, go. It is not the 13 new game. Okay, that's wow. fine. So, I mean, rather than finishing it, up the many open threads we have on Top Light Tales. Dare I say, can I, wait, can I say it? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to spreadsheet! <laughs> okay, so, in terms of spreadsheets, um, um, yes? Yeah, I mean, uh, it does feel better this way, actually, because, like, we need Aaron for uh, for Neon Flight, and how do how do we fight? How does Top Flight fight Fiat without Rena Rude I, I, and and Lumen? Yeah. I'll be honest with, yeah. with KJ on here. I really didn't because I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. When we go back, like the options that I had there in my little thing here, two of our games are only one option: Meridian and Top Flight West. It's the next time that is played. Yeah. That's those, yeah. those are both games. So we were really <sighs> rolling between doing that even without her being here or doing Murder Babes or doing uh, Neon Flight or creating a new game or creating a special new game if it's a 13. Those were our options. So, um, I'm just, I am going to text KJ that we're starting a new game. Oh, I was about to say, do we roll on who tells her? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just did it. That was rude. Of oh, me. I deeply apologize. Wow. Um, okay. So that being said, we do have to roll what this new game is. So um, Pierce, would you, Ooh, my okay. friend, please roll me a D8. D8. Pierce, would you please take me home tonight? I don't want to let you go to see the night. Buy me a drink first. Uh, Fair. six. Six. Okay. Understood. All right. So we are in current timeline, everything normal. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. Well, okay. Rephrase. We're not in, we're not like, it's not a future game or like a flashback game or something. Okay. Okay. Great. So, um, Dan. Yes. Uh, would you roll me a D20? Would I? Would I ever? Wait, wait, wait. You're still rolling a so, d20. Just give me a second. Mm. I, didn't, I hadn't even opened up any character sheet. It's like I well, knew. Well, now you don't need to. Well, they're all in my same tab. So they're all yeah. in my same spreadsheet, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all yeah, yeah. All of yeah. us were ready uh, with our character names right now. You really are all correct. So it's question mark, question I like the idea that these are your actual names. <laughs> Except Fractal, your name is actually Ada, 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 Ada. Ah. Oh, uh, Dan, it. go ahead and roll out D20. Four. God damn it. My rolls are so shit today. No. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. This is going to tie into Sunday that you guys may or may not know about. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, my God. And this is great because KJ will never want to play in this. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> um, okay. We are doing, based on who you've rolled, 
because uh, I was kind of just I had you roll on a t I have a table of uh, some, some just kind of random characters and I was just looking at a section of it guys based on what happened in Toucan Beach Florida and based on the fact that your girl Lumen said there is no way we're putting this man on our team oh, no. Flight International oh, oh. has authorized Bloodstar to form a new iteration oh, of no. Fireflight yeah. So Let's Fireflight, go. interestingly, on in our Sunday game, we we with a, I did a solo uh, solo game with Liv, and it was set in the '90s, and it was about the Fireflight '90s cartoon. This is all in honor of X Men '97. Yeah. So basically, kind of like an edgy or whatever. We we have canonically said that Fireflight Volume One is the second highest selling comic book of all time, behind X Men One, in in 1991. Well, why don't you pat yourself on the back, Bella? <laughs> well, I mean, you. it's in that world. It's like, what I, you know, the point, is, the point is it was like a huge, like that style thing. So we've said it was a huge thing and they made it, they made a weird cartoon of it and, and, and there was a French Canadian uh, animator. Um, so, okay, first of all, so you guys are all going to be members of Fireflight. Now, he did say that a lot of the other team had quit. Scorched Earth was dead, but I mean, some Scorched Earth could come back here. What's the matter? And Smolder Baby had left. So, um... But the question is, will this be an all-new team, or... Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, okay. Do you guys want to be, th like, the big three of Fireflight, or do you want to be brand new characters that we create right now? We haven't done I mean, things I... where we've given you guys characters before like this. What Who are, are the think? big three? The big three are the ones I just said. Bloodstar who is who volunteered for project dynamo he has that he has a five yeah, yeah, yeah. star pointed thing of like five different weapons he can use it to fly can use it to like spin around can fight real cool um we have scorched earth who has who just power surged and bloodstar had to kill him but i mean we can get around that people and, always die and come back yeah exactly and um and uh scorched earth basically just has like some like you know fire fire magma like powers um, and they're they're sort of friends, but there's like a tough intensity between them. Then there's Smolder Baby, and she is a uh, like a world class, um, you know, like martial artist um, with limited tele like telekinetic like stuff like that. So do you guys just want to be those characters? Are we just going to do a thing where you are named characters, or do you want to be three new members who he's adding to the team? I I sort of. I mean, just personally, narratively, find it more interesting that he would put a new team together. Yeah. New team? Okay. Then okay. Bloodstar will be me as an NPC, and you guys will be the new members of Fireflight. This is Fireflight Baldum 2. <laughs> yes, Smolder Baby, Sophia. Her name is Smolder does, does Baby. The special edition come with a, like, like a gasoline tank? <laughs> oh my god. Pyrotechnic variant covers. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkler variant covers. <laughs> one just like a, like a what is a Roman candle? Is that <sighs> what it is? Like the firework like shoots like little balls. That is a Roman candle. Yeah, that's. Uh, and then uh, all right. Well. Uh oh, and I go. Oh wait, and I then, don't even. And then volume two, this would like would have like just a lot of burnt pages because it's like from the ashes from would the be ashes. like, the all the right. team returns. Um, let's go ahead and um. Let's have you guys roll up some characters. So I'm going to need to take some notes here. I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone that, that we we have a potential tonight for an all spreadsheet night. There, It's possible that they're going to be oh. these characters and we aren't even going to play them. Oh, all right. yes. Let's go. I think we'll at least do a scene. So, uh, um, mm. it, okay. So I need each one of you to please roll a D100. This is going to be your, we're, we're going, this is like, we're going back to the very beginning oh. of how this works. Hang on. I need to, I need to get my fire dice. Two. Oh, good. Oh, two? Yeah. All right. Love it. Okay. 17. 17. Oh, nice. Okay. Perfect. 60. Six zero. Big six or zero. Yeah, Gallon or Insever, you know that Smolder Baby has like recorded a Christmas album with that song. Oh yeah. Smolder Baby. Smolder Baby. <laughs> yeah. 
That was um, that was that was the SNL sketch from when she hosted SNL. They 100% <gasps> yeah, yeah. had her do. Oh, 100%. Her <laughs> um Okay. That's an interesting question, Philip. That you would know this right now. Answer me this. Do superheroes host SNL in in the world? Are they celebrities uh, that come host Fear SNL? Fear and Darkness this episode is very fun. He's he's, <laughs> he, he's a real entertainer. Well, Meridian <laughs> Meridian's never hosted, but she's like showed up and oh, like I want... she's like sh she's like shown up as herself, you know? Like remember yeah. remember when Obama took off the mask of himself on SNL? Oh, like back God. in like 2008 or whatever 2007 yeah. whatever yeah he was no I, I don't remember that that was a big thing but he was he was very um, like stilted in a certain kind of I way was still in high school then cool um um uh, I want nothing more all right Dan you know nothing don't even worry I'm gonna pick your power for you don't worry about it I, got your power I, right I, I want nothing more in this world than to watch Lumen give an SNL model opening monologue oh nothing oh, more in this my life. gosh that would be, but um, I, but like, but obviously, like, like the SNL writers would know like Lumen's deal already, and would be like the monologue would be really weird, but then the sketches would all be like, uh, it's like so bad they're funny. Yeah. Um, I mean, not based on some of the recent, more recent SNL episodes. Uh, so Pierce, would you please yes. roll a D one hundred again? So you guys. Okay. Oh, I will tell you. However, um, just so you guys are aware, um, Dan, you have your powers due to an accident. You, 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 yeah, flat I, style. I, I, there was my an accident. Did, I discovered I could do shit. It, chemicals occurred on you, whatever, but you have biological powers. So you oh, are like a, you are a mutated chemicals occurred on me, all right, yeah. Oh my God, okay, fair enough. Uh, Pierce, you also have biologically based powers, but you are a cryptid, okay? So you are an inhuman oh, entity. This is all I've ever wanted in you my are life. some kind of cryptid. <laughs> um, uh, Sierra, you are going to have powers of a supernatural origin. Ooh. And in particular, your supernatural powers are um, are happenstance, which oh can be my God. various Ooh. devices. I, I demand it, so it. I have no idea what's going to happen in this character. So <laughs> I'm already going to demand that somewhere in this universe, whatever this character is, and Susan have at least a, a run together where they form like a duo together understood okay yes. it's also if well, you're on firefly it's hot and cold yeah yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pierce please roll me a d100 again so this is going to be your actual power so you guys are rolling all three of you roll a d100 you're rolling on different tables uh okay. based on the nature of, of the source of your power but you, you we all need another reroll i need or... another hundred a d100 from all of you uh, 22 22 Ooh, a great one dan energy absorption yeah that is good what do you got a uh, 28 28 okay i'm actually gonna have you re-roll because it's enhanced strength and we've already done that with you <laughs> i just like let's not you know let's not uh 54 Okay, I'm into it. Natural weapons. So you are a sort of clawed or tusk. That thing. works with the cryptid, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's Honestly, great. Um, yeah. He, right. He's an andalite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I have a, 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 <laughs> knife, a knife tail, a scorpion bladed tail. Uh, all right. Was uh, and then all what, zeros. What was yours? yours was not all zeros. You need a, it it needs a visual all reference. All zeros. There you go. All zeros? Yeah. What's that? What that hunter do? Well, had you Shit. rolled that for your source, you would have been extreme wealth, and you could have just picked your training. However, but this damn it, this though cool is a different one, but um, uh, it is weather control. Oh, Ooh. that's cool. Oh, W. End of end of end of list. You see. <laughs> okay, so um, Pierce. As a yes. as a cryptid, um, I think. Is there a? If if I. Go ahead. Yeah. If you have one, please say it. Oh, I would just like to be some sort of were bear. You want to be a bear? So Findon. Well, I. 
I guess it's more Beowulf than Findon. Findon's just that's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Findon's a bear. That's, right, that's what that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I mean, if there's a table, I'll roll on the table. It's fine. Well, it's less a table and more a. But you want you want to because it's I should be I should be fire based, right? Because that's what. Well, this... no, you don't have to be fire based, but you're you on. You have to be you're... aggressively violent. It's a it's a thing, but you are uh so um. Because what's funny about this is, like, when you mentioned this team, immediately in my head I went, oh, I would like to be, like, a Lobo-type character. Oh, um, sure. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, is this a... I'm just confirming that this hasn't happened in any of the others. Oh, no, it has. They did it. Of course they did. Um, I was trying to have... Is I was like, can we get to the Jersey Devil somehow? Um, mm. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but they've, they've, they've done, it's been done. I mean, I guess I thought it could be done again. Um, I think Mothman um, won't quite have the right kind of, uh, Mothman's not the right yeah. power set. Um, uh, no, but, but there, there is something called, um, there is, there is like one, I think the Flatbush. Oh yeah. Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. The Flatwoods Monster. The Flatwoods Monster. Ooh, that's upsetting. Um, I was going to also say that there could be something about you being a, um, because we've had Sasquatches show up in a few games. So this could oh, be a sure. Sasquatch thing. So you could be a, a, yeah, yeah, I, I, a big photo a... creature. However, I am looking up, because you've requested bear. A... So I'm looking up cryptid bears. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to be a, a, a Sasquatch type. I could be, I could be skunk ape. Could be... What's that? Skunk ape. Skunk ape is just, uh, is just a Bigfoot from a different region. I think skunk ape is from like, the Floridian area, if I remember right, but it's just another Sasquatch. Interesting. Okay. Um, but um, I'm looking at the Dover Demon right now. Dover, Dover Demon. Demon. That's funny. <laughs> Everyone, let's. Oh, Dover Demon is upsetting. Wow. Some people think it's oh. just owls. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that is upsetting. Wow, what a weird drawing of that. Um, oh, you know what, though? If you're going to do a bear, um, I believe it was... Remember the, the Doom Jaw that Archetype channeled? Oh, yeah. I think that we should do a riff on that. So I think you should be a thing connected to that. So okay. you are a, um, so Doomjaw, so basically you're going to be a, you're, you are not as powerful as the Archfey Doomjaw, of course. No, no, no. But um, we will, we'll say that you're sort of, you'll be, su you'll be some other kind. Do you want to have Doom be your first syllable or Jaw be your second syllable? You're going to be a compound oh. word that's oh. Doom something. I'm an, I'm an edgy 90s Doom. Okay. Doom is one hundred percent. How about your? Ooh, is Doom Claw? Could we have to do Doom Claw rather than Doom, Doom Jaw? Doom Claw. Uh, let's do Doom Claw. Okay. Because if you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah I'm. I'm down with that. You Doom are Claw. a um a a sort of uh a bear from another realm, but you have these sort of like iridescent, like oil slick skin, but you have incredible jaws. Oh yeah, yeah I'm into that. Okay, cool. Oil slick fur, I guess. Claws. Okay, so he's, Doom he's, Claw. Our claws mean Doom. Okay, Dan. <laughs> our claws. Uh, Dan, you have rolled Energy Absorption. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, from a biological accident. Yeah. So I'm going to say, do you want to... I mean, so Bishop is a good, you know obviously reference of this but do you have another riff on how this could go and actually for you roll me a d20 maybe this will give us a good like alternate like what like a like a reverse cyclops 12 he draws it like you take it in, you take it in and then i mean i don't know if it, like well, that's like that's most... bishop's whole thing is bishop just absorbs energy and can shoot it back out yeah oh that's right that's right yeah, yeah. what'd you roll 12 what if it's just emotional energy if he just he absorbs then everyone. Colin Robinson. If so like absorbs... anytime yeah. there's like a heated argument, they just absorb He's it. Like, yes, like... keep going. You spent all your time <laughs> at IKEA. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, let's say... Let's say that you can absorb energy and it feels sort of weird to just like shoot it back out. Um, but because what, so on the, on the table of like other applications here, um, maybe you can absorb energy. What was the 12 for? The 12 was just another table, which you've rolled. Uh, it's, I, I've put it onto like your brawn factor basically. So in other words, what if you like absorb energy and like, like can like, you know, you're, you're breaking all the rules and converting energy into matter almost, you know? So like you can like, you can like, like sort of chill the energy into that may be too, that may be, that may, that may open up too many truffles. Well, no, 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 that's fun. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I feel like I was about to suggest something, but it feels exactly like armament or archetype where you could like yeah. be Darwin like. Where you, oh, you use sure. the energy to like shift things about yourself to whatever you Or what if I like I I like I take the energy and then I punch it into the earth and the earth explodes on my opponents. Ooh. What about Ooh, okay. Would you be this this might be a very defensive one, although there would be Rocky cool, Puncher. Like, is that what you're trying yeah. to be? <laughs> <laughs> there could be there could be some cool like 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 outlets for this, but um kind of actually going with what Pierce was saying, I feel like you're an op- opposite, like Cyclops almost. Like, what if you can siphon any any kind of, like, energy coming Kinetic energy. To a, into, like, another, like, realm? So yeah, and I don't know where, and I don't know where it goes. Yeah, and you're, like, you're not sure where, it's like... It's I like, don't it's know like, where it goes. You're, you're basically this, like, bottomless pit of energy, and you're not sure, like, if it's ever going to come welling up from you or something. And I haven't taken a shit since my accident. <laughs> Oh God. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Um, but um, so you're basically like the ultimate meat shield. Yeah. Uh, you shoot me with like a bullet, it. and the bullet will stop because I absorb the kinetic energy. Would you? Uh... I like that. I like the, that idea that like a, bullets hit you and they don't break; they just sort of fall off of you, completely intact. But it's yeah. not because you're super strong yeah. or impervious. You're not Luke Cage. Yeah. Absorbs the energy. The energy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just. Oh, like, I like it. So, like, people punch you, you just, they just stop dead. Yeah. Like, they, yeah. They, now, the thing is, though, that's like, cool. You you make a roll to absorb any energy yeah. or to do it. So sometimes, like, they might, you know, you might not be able to channel it the right way, and you get. I had, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an unfortunate accident at the rubber factory. <laughs> um. Okay. So I think. Uh, I no, think not for tires. It was for the other rubber. A name for you? How, would you? How do you feel about your name being Abyss? Because you're like this endless, or like, or like bottomless. Pit. That sounds like a so bit like, of a stretch, don't you? Okay. Um, <laughs> Rift. I think there's somebody named Rift. Hold on. Um. Yeah, there's already a Rift. Of course. Uh, what about in in the weird uh, 1990s product placement uh, integration uh, Olive Garden? I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. That doesn't feel 90s to me. Um, there's already void. Um, no. Uh. Fissure, crevasse, vacuum, vacuum man. <laughs> <laughs> the sucker. The sucker. <laughs> Captain Hoover. I was Hoover. about to say. <laughs> what about, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this so much. What about the hole? I'm That's sure already. That that's got to exist. That does exist. Um, Fathomless hole. <laughs> bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> but call um, me Bottomless Tuesday. Uh, we have Doom Claw. Hot hole. Nullify? Nullify is kind of cool. Nullify, yeah. It feels like very edgy as well. Yeah. Nullify? We're okay with Nullify? Yeah. Like, Nullify would be in a Venom comic. Sure. I mean, right? Nullify like, in a Venom comic. So yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a whatever thing. All right, cool. So we have, we have, we have Nullify and Doomclaw who is a sort of some bear from some other realm, but he's he's kind of, he's been around, whatever. Um, as for Fractal, so you are a, a weather person, 
Um, I mean the the meteorologist is right there. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, I mean the 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 fast the the easiest uh, like like you know like the the quickest thing is just like weather witch, you know. Uh, what but do you mean? um, but we can probably do a little squall. Uh, oh. storm wrap. Um, um. Oh, actually, wait. Oh my god, hold on. Meta concept. Oh shit. Your name could be Atmosphere. Oh. Because that is the weather control ma- sci and sorcery from a from a thing that was published by the same company as this comic company oh, a long sure. time ago. So somebody probably would have could have named somebody something that as like a thing. I mean I like it. Atmosphere. Yeah. Here, I'll show you the, the way it was spelled in that so you see Please, what Please, thank like, you. That. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, cool. Okay. Head. Nullify, Doom Clot, and Atmospheria. Okay, so these are your characters. Now, friends, neighbors, what the hell now. system will we be doing for this game? Oh, boy. Yes. Um, hey. Do we roll to decide that? We're going to roll to decide the fucking okay. system. All right, one, two, three. No, we already have that. Okay, so not that. One, two, three. I'm putting this in for. That's what he said. Okay. Already done that. Uh, nothing on this uses... Um, yeah, we don't... Okay, actually, none of our games in this... None of our, none of our uh, superhero games utilize the pool system, do they? The D8 pool? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um. Does one of isn't them... that our? Isn't that what our Fiat? Uh, eight, no, Fiat D100. Um, and then Neon Flight. Is that the um, Murder Babes? Is D6s? D6s. D6s. Murder Babes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that is a pool, um, but it is not the D8 pool. No, because Beowulf is D20, Fiat no. is the D100, Mecha Dinosaurians D10, and Marood okay. is D6. So yeah. Okay, so the pool system is in. Um, I guess technically I'll put that one in as well. All right. I mean, hey, why not? It's, I'm cool with that. Uh, um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so that is how many options? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got to pick another one, Philip. What is the other one going to be? Um, or you just roll a D8 and just discount any eights. We could do that, but we won't. There will be a third. There will be a last option. Um, I got it. Okay. I got it. <laughs> All right. Friends, uh, who would like to make this very important role? Who has a D8 handy? I mean, go for it, Dan. All right, Dan. Go ahead and roll a D8, my friend. Seven. Seven. All right. Gonna have to change the names of a few things here. Um, Is this the D8 pool? It is not the D8 pool. Oh, man. Um. <laughs> do, I, do I need to go grab a deck of cards? You don't need a deck of cards. Okay. Um. You don't need a deck of cards, but um. So for this game, you will need. Oh, this one might be too. This might be too tough to actually build. On it, one thing because I'm looking at it because this is one of those things where it's a thing. Uh, this is the love dice system, but it's not. Going oh. To be, it's oh, you don't like that system. I don't like that system. Dan doesn't like that system. I know he doesn't like that system. This is the one system that Phillips and I actively don't like. He doesn't like it. Okay. You want to veto that one? I would like to veto if that's okay. Fair enough. Th- okay. That sy- what Dan doesn't like about the system, if I could speak for you, I think, is that it is it is too subjective. Yeah, it's it's very ambiguous and it's yeah, yeah. It's all uh, okay. or thing like that. And, and it's like it's yeah, it's a lot of it's up to interpretation and then and then when like when when my mind doesn't work the same way as Phillips, then I don't quite know what I want to, what, what's, what I should, especially when they're like some things you can control in the rolling. 
then I then it's not like oh I felt I set this because I thought it was right and then like Roll yeah it feels like then. the wrong thing. I'm eliminating the other one as well. Just roll a d6. Be a little whiny boy about it. Uh, one. Oh, no, one. Oh, okay, great. Um, okay. Uh, this one. Yeah, we can. Well, this should be fine. Uh, this is the two d twenty Mophidius uh, modifies. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, it's been a long system. time. Okay, great. Sure. So, um, okay, cool. Um, all right. So. Um, let me look at how the fuck this game works again. Yeah, you have uh, your your skill and your abilities, and then you roll your fucking dice, and you, you want to get low on those. You want to low. low them, so you want them to be high. Okay, right. So the attributes are those. Skill. We'll we'll be changing what the skills are from this set. So, um, okay. Uh, give me one moment. Hey, could you guys just like talk about something for like five minutes? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so the way that I had my accident is I pissed my pants. <laughs> You, you pissed your pants? You, yeah, you I was drinking a lot of... <laughs> yeah, but it was like a lot of Mountain Diet, Mountain Dew, Code Red that I've oh, been drinking. you said oh. accident. I thought you said accent. I'm like, this is your pissed your pants <laughs> 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 I was like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Jace, most, trust the, me. The I sound like this a lot. That's pants pissing I've ever heard. <laughs> you didn't know there would be an accent. <laughs> well, look. Oh, you're not aware of that, Sierra? You're not aware that, like, whenever you piss your pants, your voice just changes? Yeah, right. you're just like, well, I, uh, I need to go Look, to. <laughs> it, it takes a... <laughs> when you piss your pants, it ups your, your natural testosterone count by a factor of, <laughs> like, 200. And so all of a sudden, you just start talking like this. Like, out of your control. And, um, I do this quite a bit, actually, so I got a lot of experience with it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh boy! Trust me, not my first rodeo. I gotta figure out like, what do I look like? What do I look like if I had this fucking accident at the rubber plant? Oh god! I love that it's at a rubber plant. It's really funny. Um, hey, specificity. Uh, oh, also, is please, the... if you'd like to, you can all come up with like your, your, um, your, uh, your like real names. I mean, I guess Doom Claw. You probably don't have a real name. I was wondering if I if. I was wondering if the. If it's, is it a K or a C? I think it's probably just a C, because Do Doom very... Jaw was just Doom Jaw was fairly, you know, uh, just was that. So I was I was figuring it was just that, but if you sure, like sure. it to be, um, no, 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 I was gonna ask or, you. Or if more. you'd rather be like Doom Fang. No, Doom, Doom Claw's good because no, I like the idea claws. that it's it's, it's Claw, some Doom Claw. They're uh, they're um, highly kinetic claws. Um. Oh, did I? Thanks. I, uh, yeah, look, again, the rubber factory is a very dangerous place. Let's just say that, uh, Goodyear's standards aren't what they used to be. I mean, they, they, they used to be aren't what they now are. Um, I don't know. That's I'm... Goodyear's standards. Good year. My God. Uh, that's hilarious. Um, well, you always buy Michelin. Um, yeah, yeah, because I support the French. That's right. Yeah, definitely support the French. Um, I'm from I'm from I'm from Cooperstown, Ohio. Never been. Is that never where the, been? Is, is I've that never the, been. Yes, and I've never is that been. Where the baseball yes, show, how and I've okay. never been. <laughs> yes, yes. It seems like I've you, never been. Seems like you wish you had been. No, I don't do the tourist shit. Okay, because people want to go play. They want to go. They want to come to my my home city, my hometown. Actually, someone in the chat wants to know what kind of accent would give me energy absorbing powers, and it's the kind that happens at the rubber plant. There are a lot of a lot of chemicals there. Okay, they were making tires for Formula oh, One. Cars. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. This is still like the '90s yet. We still haven't like probably started regulating stuff like that. So there's probably oh, like Agent not. Orange used this, in your tires. This isn't the '90s. Yeah. This is modern day. Oh right, right. Uh, so we're, we're a '90s vibe oh. of, of comic. Not even the '90s. It's just like it's like it's like it's like the old okay. fire flight team is being you know. Yeah. Well, listen, right, right. they were trying to cut a lot of corners at the Goodyear Tire Factory. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we we roll that this is modern day. So like this is right, right. this is taking place after Bloodstar didn't join the team in Toucan Beach. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I'm trying to find out where Goodyear factories are. Oh yeah, so this is because of uh, 
capitalism hollowing out the 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 uh, soul of this factory yes. and there being there only being like three trained engineers on the floor yes. that know what's going on and everyone else being temporary workers yes <laughs> that's right the that's right Jumpla. you understand <laughs> Your cryptid mind grasps the failings of our economic system. Oh, I already don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Even you who lives outside the bounds of what we humans call natural society gets what is happening here and how the, the guardrails that are meant to protect us have eroded over the course of decades and centuries of people chasing profit. And now all we can do is be victims without any source of recompense. Seems like you're carrying a lot of anger around with you, to nullify. I've absorbed it all. <laughs> I see. Like, it's. I think. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Actually, it is funny that I picked Cooperstown because the Goodyear headquarters are apparently now in Akron, Ohio. Oh, oh there you go. That's where the first Goodyear factory opened. Um. <clears throat> So they have uh, they have their headquarters in Akron. They have a chemicals plant in Bayport, Texas. A uh, tire and rubber co in Beaumont. Tires in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Danville, Virginia. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Findlay, Ohio. Gadsden, Alabama. Hebron, Ohio. Houston, Texas. Kingman, Arizona. Lawton, Oklahoma. They have something. They have chemicals plant in Niagara Falls. Wonder what's happening in those fucking falls. Let me tell you. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. But those amber waves of grain are burnt down to the ground. Yeah, can we never play right. another game, Philip? Sure. This is, this is yeah, this is the permanent I, I, game now. Like, yeah. and yeah. it's all about nullify. Yeah, okay. I just sort of. Like to <laughs> I yeah, also like it. that it's, it's like, and it's just about nullify for the record. <laughs> <laughs> and by this game, we mean nullify. <laughs> you know what the worst part? You think I'm angry? But under this anger is fear. But I don't know where all this energy is. I don't know where it went. Maybe it's sent back at the Goodyear plant. It just seems like you should have like a AM radio show or something. I think he already does. I do the weather for it. Are you ever wrong? I mean, I make it so I'm not wrong. That seems highly unethical. <laughs> Who are you that lives outside the bounds of what humans call society to tell us what's ethical and what's not? I feel like I mean, we're part of a team who seems that more like doesn't care the about the world. ethical shit. You know? You, you listen here, Doomclaw. If you wanted to care about ethics, you wouldn't have signed up for Fireflight. I mean, I don't know that I really signed up. But okay. You wouldn't have gotten yourself conscripted for Firefight. <laughs> you wouldn't have. You know been, what? You, you know what? Long... You're right. You're right. Yeah. You wouldn't have engaged <laughs> in a long series of choices that led you down the dark and dreary road that led that brought you to the doorstep of Firefly. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to kill them when I touch them. It just sort of happens. And I don't mean to stop them when it happens, when I, they touch me or shoot oh. at me. Well, it's good. I think I think you should mean to stop the things when they shoot at you. Have you ever had someone spit at you and then the spit just stops when it hits no. you? No. Doesn't even roll down. It just stays there. He freezes and the spit freezes. <laughs> God. Oh. It does sound unpleasant. Though I have sort of a a, a, a permanent uh, ectoplasm coating. Were you born with it or is it Maybelline? I I, I don't know what that means. But yes, I, I as far as I know, I've had this since uh forever. And you've never know you you the curse is all you know. I remember what it was like when I could touch someone. I mean, can you not when touch get, people? When I get hit in the face, and it would do something. Do, 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 do you do you want to just want to feel again? Want to feel? 
I want to know what love is. <laughs> oh, well, I can define that for you if you like. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that uh, the character who I'm very surprised by is Doomclaw. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> He's like the only sound. What I'm hearing here, here and confused by is his doom clock. <laughs> oh well, my god. I just figured there needed to be something to counter the energy that Nullify was bringing. <laughs> and that, it, and having someone like. Because I know that what. I know what Bloodstar's energy is like. And now I have Nullify, it just needs to be like a... Something that's just a little more balanced. And I mean, bears are pretty mellow until, you know, they're not. You wouldn't like me when I'm not mellow. <laughs> okay, mellow yellow. Yeah. You have like a... Are you like being paid? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's what it should be. Never mind. I see. Okay. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm just I'm, I'm having to pick all the disciplines, and it's it's honestly okay. How does this sound for the six disciplines, Dan? You're somewhat familiar with the system, that you probably don't remember it. But the six disciplines I'm going with are analysis, mm -hmm. firearms, espionage, mm -hmm. machinery, melee, and tactics. Yeah, I like it. If that makes sense. as kind of four things. The attributes are, of course, agility, brawn, presence, daring, insight, and reason. I'm leaving those as they are. Yeah. Um, sure, sure. Okay. So I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotcha. I'm starting. I'm, I'm, I'm loosely... I've only played this system one time. So I am now, like, sure. starting to, to, to grip it again. And I'll, I'll be honest. Part, I mean, we'll, I think we'll probably do a little playing tonight, but um, part of it is that I don't fully remember how this system works myself. Uh, so we'll have to... Um, go and put this on to um, that on the core sheet. Love it. Okay. Um, oh, great. Well, fun. All right. So your sheets have all gotten a little, a little obnoxiously bigger, of course. Um, we have nullify. These will all, I believe, for all of you, these are going to be to the furthest over. Um, we've got Atmosphere and Doomclaw. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, so, the way this works... Right. Oh, the life path creation system of this is actually very good and very yeah yeah yeah. Um is uh is very clever. Okay, okay, okay. Um All right. So, um your talents in this system are basically going to be your powers. Um, okay. And uh, for the purpose of this, though, you can you can sort of put your powers up at the top. Um, we'll sort of... Your talents... I, I don't know exactly how they'll interact with us. We'll figure that out as we go. But basically, you know, um, like, you know, Doomclaw, you have, um, you know, aside from, like, uh, here, I'll put... Uh, Laws of Doom. Uh, superhuman strength and resilience, and your claws are incredibly strong, can slice easily through solid steel. Okay, so basically that's your thing. Your your talents sort of won't very nice nullify. Your talents won't necessarily like um, 
it, it, for what, especially just for like what we're doing right here, your talents aren't necessarily going to um, give you like a mechanical thing. It's just it's like it's it's the thing you get to do. It's the way that you'll get to do this. Um, Atmosphere. Ooh, you know what we'll do? Um, I think for yours is you will have the ability to, like, though you can manipulate the weather, it's that you have the ability to create, like, microclimates. You know? Ah, uh, yes. So, like, you can kind of, like, create these... So I of... definitely am the world's best weather lady out there. Well, yeah, who Thank would be you. you? Exactly. Yeah. Cause, cause if, I mean, if you were in the same world as Storm, then Storm. But since not Storm's not here, it's you. We don't talk about her. Yeah. She doesn't bitch. exist. She's just in <laughs> Um, I like how that both Fireflight and the X-Men have a, have a, like, weather person on the team. <laughs> um, Atmosphere can create microclimates. Um, oh. And we'll say including some sort of supernatural types of weather such as like you know like like storms of like like you know you might even be able to do things like plagues of locusts and things like that if you want to since you are supernatural in your nature Ooh. Um, all right you're gonna be able to do the 10 plagues she can probably make some plagues provided they feel like weathery plagues. maybe not the claim the firstborn one but yeah. a lot that of the others that, that, that are cool. that's I... a lot more of a hands-on touch there <laughs> yeah that's when that's that's when I, I show up. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, as for our boy Nullify, Nullify can absorb with with great focus. Nullify can absorb massive amounts of energy and siphon them off. To who knows where. I'm putting that part in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good, Atmosphere. All right. Um, I think we probably won't oh. do, like, the full-on um, life path creation, just because I kind of don't know. The... Oh, no, but we will, actually. Okay, I take that back. Um, I have a question about this. I would like for some of you, maybe I... I at least one of you, I will request this is the case, but I think maybe for two of you, and if all three of you really want it, I'm fine with that. Um, the, so, you know, like, like Fireflight is a team that has sort of existed and in the sort of sliding scale of comic book time, you know, like they've been around a while. They consider them sort of like Flight, you know, like Flight Infinities, sort of like, like you know, like, like, you, like it's like the Marines. We're the hitters. Like, you're going to, it's like send them in to just take the thing out kind of thing. But they do, and they do sort of, you know, some more kind of like, I don't, I don't necessarily want to say wet work, but it's that. We call it, it's wet work because by the end we're wet with the blood of our enemies I mean, and the tears of, of our eyes. Do oh, who among I thought it was just because it's hard work and we sweat a lot. Who among you would like to have been on the team before? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I really <laughs> feel like I'm a new recruit. You yeah. Are new recruit. I, I, <laughs> okay, so Doomclaw is a new addition. Nullify, you're cool with being on the team. Yeah. Because I think the idea that, like, Nullify... Because, like, I could see Nullify having been on the team since, like, the 90s, and it's just, you know... And, like, there's probably been arcs where you, like... Like, you, you like, had it under control, but now it's back to kind of whatever stuff. Okay. So, what about you, Atmospheria? Uh, I maybe... I haven't been there for very long, but, like, I still... Like just got there kind of thing so you would ra you'd rather be new to the team kind of new okay yeah uh sounds good okay so so nullify you're an older school person so nullify uh so actually nullify atmosphere and and all of you um you guys will have a total of Sorry, you just went nullify atmosphere and all of you. And all of you. Well, no, I was realizing that this would, this would, this would apply to and, well, all of you. Also, do we're, to, we're to single out the only non-human. I and know, I mean, it's, seriously. It's okay, so in, under your attributes, you cannot take anything over 11, 
but you guys have an additional 14 points to put into those attributes. So nothing, nothing can go over 11. Nothing can go over 11. I'm pretty sure, actually. I'm gonna confirm that. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. This is just for attributes, not disciplines, right? Oh, oh, oh. This is for your attributes, yes. Just mm-hmm. attributes. Technically, you could have one attribute, I guess, at um, at 12. Yes, you, you are allowed to take one attribute to 12 if you want. But it'll, you know, sort of it costs you other things. So um, you have a total of 14 points to put into those attributes. So ah. that kind of, it's like, that you have a minimum of seven in them, which is them sort of trying to help you out. Um, and if you have any questions on what these attributes mean, um, they are they are kind of a little different than what a lot of systems have. Um, and and I guess uh, uh, Sierra, I'll tell you the way this system works, just so you kind of think about this as you're doing it, is whenever you do anything in this game, you're going to add an attribute and a discipline together, and okay. we'll decide what makes the most sense for this situation. So, like, say gotcha. that you were going to. Um, get into like a fist fight with someone that's a pretty easy one that's going to be your brawn plus your melee you know it's like he's just duking it out with somebody brawn and melee okay. those go together um so you'd add those two numbers you then roll two d20s and you want at least one of them but ideally both i think it's better for both to be under right yeah Bonus yeah because there's more successes you you want oh right, right 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 and if it's oh and if it's below the discipline it's double success yeah aha so basically, you then roll two d20s. What you're trying to do is roll under the sum of your attributed discipline. So the higher those numbers, the bigger your target to roll under it is. Okay. So, so far, yeah. Perfect, perfect. You've added... So yeah, you've added nine. You've added nine of 14. Okay. Um, when you're done with that, you may then add 10 points total to your disciplines... Nothing can be more, and you can only have one go as high as five. Okay. In your disciplines. <laughs> Nullify. Minimum I- minimum insight, minimum reason. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Doom the only off. thing you can't absorb is knowledge. <laughs> there you go. knowledge. I don't go automatically. Knowledge isn't energy. It is power, though. If, if I was going to convert energy into matter, I would have said that my name should be equals MC suck my dick. <laughs> e equals MC suck my dick. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty a thing. That's pretty a thing. Um, Who knows? Maybe, maybe that'll be one of Nullify's uh, catch lines. Let me give you guys some... Catch raises. Uh, that is so much of a better place for one of your beloved D's nuts jokes. E equals MD, MD's oh. nuts. Teleportion. Um, MCDs. Yeah. I would recognize that you put five into analysis because that will sort of be about your weather control will probably be uh, yes. discipline most. Yeah. So I would put okay. four of your points into that. Um, okay. Wait, yes. remind me, what are we doing for disciplines? Disciplines ten. are analysis, fire. Oh, you get 10 points to add on top of okay, it. You, okay, have, you okay. have a minimum of one in everything and you get 10, 10 total. You can, you can take one to five, but can't go higher than What would the, what would, like, generally speaking, what would the role for my absorption be? The discipline of your absorption, it can, of course, change. Like, if you're in a melee thing, it might be melee if you're trying to do it from that. I don't know. What do you think? It, it, um, it seems maybe... I don't know. And none of these correlate to it that well. Um, maybe tactics. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Kind of just that you're sort of like, it's all about. But I mean, if you don't like that, we could do. Um, uh, I mean, I guess firearms and machinery are sort of redundant that they're both yeah. there. So maybe we should just. Um, 
but again, a di I don't know what discipline. Because the other thing is, like, biological powers might not really have a discipline in that sense, you know? Right, yeah. It's yeah. like, it's a different thing. Um, it's not espionage. You know it's what? Analysis. Let's say it's melee. Okay. Let's say it's melee because it's about, you know, it's... it's yeah, it's physicality, it's, yeah. Because you, I don't think, I do think you have to be pretty darn close. I don't think you can, like, you can't, like, siphon energy from, like, far away. You've got to be... Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. melee. It's all about, like, being up there, being in it. Yeah, okay, great. That's your five. Uh, oh, so atmosphere, just so you know, only one of your things can be a five. Oh, okay. So you'll have to you'll have to choose only one to be five, but that means mm. that will go to a four, and then you can yeah. put you know two in one of your other other abilities. Sweet. All right. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right, looking at Doom Claw. Um. Oh yeah, Brawn is Doom Claw, of course. Although he's no he's no slouch on agility. Let's face it. Bears are fast, man. Bears are very fast. <laughs> um, okay. Um, great. And uh, you know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap one thing around. Please do. Thank. I think I like the idea of this more. Mm, gotcha. I think of, of being better at espionage. Okay. Sometimes you turn around and there's a bear there's there a now. Bear. It's a snack there. Yeah. Espionage is the espionage is the one I'm happiest with because that is the right degree of like broad. Yeah. It's kind of a thing. Okay. So whatever. And firearms machine. The thing is though, Star Trek has both engineering and piloting. So like they do, you know, but that makes it because in that, that makes split those up. So that makes, that makes sense. Machinery and firearms. I, I don't know. They're kind of, I might change those later and you guys can adjust if you need to. Um, maybe, so you go ahead. Maybe like, uh, also it just seems like weapons might be, a. I don't know. In a superhero world where there's like so many different varied forms of like weaponry. Well, that's, that's melee versus firearms. Oh, okay, okay. Like, melee is, you know, swords punching. And so, like, basketball. Cyclops would be firearms. <sighs> that is true. Because this system, this system doesn't cover superpowers. Right. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, the last thing we have to do are your focuses. In inf and what's what is Dan? Do you remember what the special thing about focuses is? Um, I I do not. Um, there are things where you can. What is it that you get to do? They um. God, I don't remember. Let me see if I. Does anyone who watched Noteworthy in the chat remember what focuses did? Um. Okay, so I'll look it up on Star Trek Adventures. Maybe it's only on a focus if you roll under your discipline. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... All right, guys, something came Fo up for me, okay, so I so gotta focus. get going. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, it's all good. Take care, you guys. Bye, Atmosphere, <laughs> thank you. Bye. It was nice meeting you. Uh, the weather, the weather ends today. Oh, <laughs> The weather ends today? <laughs> the weather ends today? Oh, no. Focuses represent specialized subjects about which the character has more precise knowledge or experience. These focuses can be any topic and can apply to any attribute plus discipline combination where the focus is relevant to the task. I'm seeing that, but what is it? The what is the mechanical thing? Is it, is it is it when you have a focus? If you roll under your discipline, that's when you get. Oh, what, yeah, it is. It is a foc. It's only it's only on your focuses that if you roll under your tar your your discipline. So like, if you have a five in something and you get to you and your and the act. So focuses are basically like skills. 
So you can pick focuses of like, you know, uh, you get to pick like, God, how many of them do you guys get? Like, looks like they have six in the other thing. So focuses are things like in Star Trek, your focus would be like warp engines or, you know, flute or something. So that anytime no, you make a it's more like that, It's more like how we use knowledges in the other games. It's more yeah. like how we use knowledges, but it's also like skill proficiency sort of. Right, right, right. You know, so... But it's that level of specific of how we it's, use knowledge. And you want them to be sort of specific, but like still applicable in certain things. So go ahead and add a few focuses for now. Um, so for example... Like energy absorption. Well, or, or like thermodynamics. But could I put energy absorption as one of my focuses? I think that's your power. So that's kind of like... A, so then, because, I mean, because like the idea is like that, like I should be good at that because that is my power, right? So it's like, right. that means that if it's... Yes, if it is your, below, your power should be a focus. Yeah. Because you, whenever you're using your power, if you roll under the attribute, you should get the yeah. success. Good point. Maybe star that, because that's like your power. Like you, everyone gets that as a as a thing in this system. So, like, I would have a focus that's claws. Um, yes, I guess so. Um... I mean, mine's much more straightforward because mine is a male like. It's a melee thing, it's so it's not a that. Thing, yeah. Once again, you, it doesn't, have, it, you have the most straightforward character. Um, well, I don't know about that. Okay, so yeah, but like, so for example, like, like, so, so for, um, so for Doomclaw, you know, yours might be, um, like, you know, yours should be something about like woods or, or you know, like you should have something. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. I was, I was, I was trying to figure something out about that, but maybe, yeah. Um, um, you know. Would like tracking be this kind of thing? Sure, or? I think tracking could be, or, or yeah, like I mean, like forest tracking, or you know, like sure. like like outland, or you know, yeah, something like tracking, or or uh, that that's great. Um, yeah, just just throw in a few of those, basically. Okay. Let's see, uh, forest tracking claws. Um, any other interests that do? So so doom claw as a cryptid. You are a sort of creature who is, you know, you sort of have been living in in perhaps some kind of society that is connected to more like fairy type stuff. Um, I mean, I guess, do you think you come from, like, are you, do you think Doomclaws live in the darkest forest of the earth? Or are you more from a more sort of fantastical fairy realm and occasionally some of you cross over kind of thing? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, because Doomjaw is that, right? Doomjaw is... Doomjaw is, but I was trying... I, I... Doomjaw is, and the fact that Archetype, like, went to that, so I'm kind of trying to have this be sort of a, like... This is like a like a back retcon of, like, that's some kind of, you know... No, I'm fine coming from the same place that Doomjaw comes from. Yeah. That's fine, because, yeah. I mean, it, 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 well, it's very... You, you have no connection to Doomjaw, because Doomjaw's not in this universe. Yeah, 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 but you're kind of... You're of a but similar like... take. You're of a similar... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you could be of a of a sort of some kind of like. But like Doomjaw has appeared in a top flight comic, even if it is not within our universe, exactly. right? There's been so it makes sense then that yes, that they would try to um, retcon this and or make me like a a uh, you know a Red Hulk or something like that. Sure. You know, tell you what, why don't you yeah, go ahead and change your tracking to just tracking? Because I think you are okay. going to be good at that as a as a as a, as a silly old bear. And then do how about how about your other focus is like what do we want to call sort of how about like like um, you good? I was gonna put like meditation. Meditation, great, go for it. Um maybe like 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 uh I'm trying to think of like a like a fun name that isn't just Feywild or something. How about um what is the The Den Realm? The Den Realm or the or the uh how about the fair forest? The fair forest? I like that. Yeah. So you, you sort of come from a region like that where a few, plenty of other things have come from that. I mean, that's where, tell, you know, that's where V got her Eldritch Blast. Nullify, do you have any, uh, any, okay. Jesus fucking Christ, I am. <laughs> oh my God. Go ahead and read to everybody what you have if you want to. Um, we, get, we get it. <laughs> so my, my, uh, my first one is energy absorption, which makes sense because that's my power. Yeah. Uh, my second one is manufacturing, plant organization, and logistics. <laughs> the third one is chemistry. Uh, the fourth one is rust belt state politics. There we go. That's the one I was, that's the one I was like, thanks, buddy boy. 
Thanks, Nullify. You sure got it figured out. Um, um how about? Okay. How I many do you want mediation? To do? Can I? Is can that be? Dispute mediation seems uh, seems odd. Sure. But sure, I suppose sure, sure. you can be at that. No, sure. like, con con conflict resolution. I mean, no, no, put put it on if you if if that's how you're sort of seeing Doom Claw. No, no, no. It's um, fine. It's fine. It's I would just I he's, would, he's I would, kind of a mellow presence sure. until the fight happens. I would I would no then that then that's fine. Especially if 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 that could make sense if it's that Doom Claw was very good at mediating disputes among. That's other, sort of what I mean. Know. Yeah, yeah. Like sure, sure, okay, yeah, that, that could make sense. Um, um, pack tactics? How about that? Can I call it pack tactics? Sure, you can call it pack tactics. Yeah. That's fine. That's not going to get any legal problem if I call it pack tactics. I, think, I, think, I, I, I don't care at this point. That that seems fine. If that's if that's really a legal problem, that's that's their legal. Hey, problem. if it, if they want to come for us, they'll have to pry that term out of my cold dead hands. Uh, no, I, that's going to confuse me. That's a joke. I was going to confuse me. I'm going to call it like uh, pack uh, dynamics. Pack dynamics. That's fine. Vigilance. Um, I think I would like for both of you to also put in. I'm, I'm kind of looking at what people had on some of the other things. Um, I would throw in for both of these one more kind of like. I think you should both throw in some kind of like general purpose, um, you know, like, like, like almost think of, think of D and D skills, and maybe then like like, like click it one degree more specific than that. You know, like if 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 you wanted to be good at something like sneaking or you know, like situational awareness. Situational awareness. I think that's a big one from Star Trek, right? That's that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. That kind of sort of thing. Put in a thing that is that it's the kind of thing that could apply maybe in some combat or maybe pre-combat, or that could apply in a lot of other things. I mean, honestly, like like you know, pack dynamics. That may be a good example of that. Yeah. Okay. You guys all have five, right? Uh, let's let's get to six on these. Okay. Um, that falls more in like tracking. Um, I think you guys have a good balance of kind of like like fun stuff um, and. Um, oh, oh, gonna... wait, Dan, hold on. Uh, because you have been on the team up to this point mm -hmm. um you should get a focus that is related to like mm. um like yours should be you know like 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 villains or you know or uh past battles or like you should get one that is yeah. related to your experience on this team is that in addition to the six or is that the six one should be that i think it's one of the six okay because i think in the life path they don't give you like even you're if you're a veteran you don't have like more than the others which is kind yeah. of weird um, is hiding specific? I had camouflage, but I, I, I you know, I think I, I, that's more specific than stealth, right? It's like I'm good at hiding, not necessarily sneaking. sneaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I can figure something out. I like else. camouflage for that, actually. Camouflage, okay. Fun, you know, because it also is a circumstance of it's like if this is an environment where you can easily camouflage into, great. But then there's times where that just won't work. You know. Kind okay. Of thing. Yeah, that's perfect. Um. Villainous activities. Can, can we do like villainous history? You know what I mean. So it's like it's it's more like the um you know. So you can like recall like you know instances. I guess I was thinking more about it, it, activities like hey like this is what they've done and so this is what I think they might be doing Ooh, now. Villainous tactics. Villainous. Uh, yeah, villainous, I, I like um, tactics. Yeah. Yeah, villainous uh, procedures. Yeah. Villainous. Uh, uh, villainous criminology. Vill villainous. Is it criminologist. Oh, no, no, no. criminology is a good. Yeah, you could call it villainous that. Villainous SOP. Yeah, sure. Villainous SOP. Yeah, sure. That's fun. Okay, cool. You're a mind hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Guys, Top Flight Tales issue ten is going to just nullify. like this is my design. Because we also we we lost we lost atmosphere. So we are we are going to do a little role play here now, but um we kind of lost uh kind of lost our. Let's just say it's not Rin and Men anymore because we lost our weather girl. I think in all the in all, it rained men yeah. <laughs> that the storm moved on. Is that do you think that's what she meant by the weather ends today? Uh, I don't know. I don't think about it like that. It's really ominous. Everything we do is ominous. 
Everything we stop is ominous. That's the point. All right. Um, okay. I am going to very quickly roll up a couple of additional characters for this team. Would you guys like to participate in that, or should I just? Oh yeah, yeah. Wrap yeah. No. That? Okay. Let's roll. Uh, Let's roll. Both of you get. Okay, then we'll just do this. We'll do this other thing. Both of you, please give me another D100. So guys, this is really like a world building one. Oh, but you know what? This one, I rolled 13. You rolled a 13 on a D100. Yeah. Cool, but yeah, unfortunately not not as exciting for this. Okay, perfect. What do you five? Got? Five. Okay. This is a real like. This makes sense as this is so sort of supposed to be like a mutant team. So these are all biological things. Perfect. Okay. Um, can you both roll another D100 for me? Nineteen. 76. Dan rolled 19. And you rolled 76, huh? Indeed. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is very fun. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Dan. Uh, roll another D100 for me. 55. Perfect. Yes, okay, and then could you also roll a d20? Two. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so Dan, um, your character has um, the ability to, uh, has the sort of ability to, it's like, it's kind of like a pretty standard thing, but it's sort of like concussive blast. Um, you know, like like energy ray, concussive blast, you know, kind of that kind of vibe. Um, we can say that they're, um, we can say that his vibe is, uh, it's like, it's like they're, um, uh, what's like a, what's a little, what's a twist on it? What's a twist on like, you know, on like force damage you know, you know push stuff back vibe is it is it like you know the way that gambit like throws a thing and that's what explodes um like. yeah he has two symbols oh, like, so like, like 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 it's yeah. like a clap kind of thing yeah. okay clap i like that um and we call him we call him little drummer boy um i mean I don't think that's his name. I think that's what we call him when we want to talk shit to him. Hold on. I think that well, is he, his name. He's like when he was a child, like when he discovered his powers and became a child superhero. He goes by LDB now. <laughs> he I hasn't quite found the, the oh, he hasn't the, found the Nightwing rebranding yet. Yeah, we can do um Oh wait. What's that? Hold on. Uh, it is going to be some kind of drum thing, though, I think. Um, oh, is anybody called Drum Major? Ooh. If not... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Know. Or major drum. I'll call him drum major. That's fine. He has percussive blast. That's what we'll call him. Percussive force. Percussive blast. Like yeah. Okay. And then, um, Pierce, I am so sorry. What did you say? What was your D100 you said again? So the first one was a five. And yes. the second one was a 76. Right. 76. 76. Ah, fun. Okay, cool. Um, roll also a D20 for me. Thirteen. Hey, baby. Ooh, that's cool. And then could you roll another D100? Oh, that's very fun, though. Uh, the answer to everything. 42. 42. Okay. Um, ooh, ooh, that's interesting for this team. I like that because it's kind of a more, um... Uh, 
Okay, so basically you have rolled like 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 sort of more like psychic damage or something, but okay. um, uh, but you've rolled like illusion and like form changing. So I think this is someone who like like is there a term for like when like you see something and it like hurts your head because it like doesn't make sense? Is there like a term for aura? Like... People talk about their migraine auras where they see color and light. Migraine. Oh, I actually just call it migraine. <laughs> oh, you bet. What about, is it too stupid to have somebody called the Headacre? Not on this team, I don't think. Now with M Atmosphere, Bloodstar, Nullify, Doomclaw, and Drum Major. I think Headacre is maybe too silly, but I think, he like, or just Headache could be interesting. Headquake, maybe? Headquake, yeah. that's that's good. Up headquake it, is it. good. It's, it should be headquake. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. And vertigo. Okay, great. Okay, so, um, all right. So we're going to, um, we're gonna do a few moments of um, of RP here, and we'll try to get a couple rolls in just so we can familiarize ourselves. Yeah, yeah. System again. I I know that you you both have determination, and uh, I, you start with one, and then there is also the way that you can. Uh, for now, we'll just say that you guys can have a few. Like you always get a few chances to add dice, right? You know what? Sure. If if that's how you want to play it, Philip. No, no, no. Like there's always like like you have a means of adding a die. Like something. Remember, like you. Oh, oh! It's a it's a group pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay, cool. right. That's so, right. So, um, the group pool, here's, today, the group pool is six, or is, is four. It said six, okay. it's four. Here you go. Uh, you guys can choose before any roll to spend one of these, and if you ever have extra, it, yeah, that's what it is. If you ever have extra successes when you make a roll, you add to that pool, to the, yes. to the group pool. I forget what it's called. It's not called determination. It's called, is it, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we don't need to know what it's called, but yeah. But yeah, it's like the the, the team has the um the team has the extra, extra yeah twenties. Okay, cool. Momentum. Momentum. That's what it is. Thank you so much. All, right, all coming back to me now. Cool. So. Um, and then when you spend it, you have less momentum. Momentum, more problems. Yeah. The momentum we come across, the mo problems we see. Uh, all right. Well, um, we will begin at, um, we'll sort of begin with, like, Bloodstar, who's this kind of, uh, and I mean, yeah, you guys remember Bloodstar's vibe, but, like, a, a thing that we really, like, drilled into with Bloodstar in the, um, uh, on our Sunday game is that like this is this is clearly a series that is like written by like a Vietnam veteran who is like really interested in war and yet there is a weird like 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 anti-war streak to it like you know like 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 Bloodstar does like there's a weariness to Bloodstar so that does sort of differentiate him from like he's 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 very ultra violent and cool and stuff but he's also like you have to do the hard thing <laughs> He's tortured by all the people he's, he's killed, even though it's necessary. Yeah, exactly. So basically, um, we will begin with Bloodstar walking into, like, the... Oh, here's what's fun. Because, you know, a team like Fireflight has had many different bases over the years. He's going back to the original base that they have. Like, the, the original Firefly base, and that's what he goes to. And so, like, the opening thing is him, like, walking in and, like, you know, pulling, like, a, a, uh, a sheet... Off of, a t off of the meeting table. And then, and we've kind of gone through this now, but it's like Bloodstar, you know, and in little captions, he'll be like, like, we've been avoiding this team for a long time. For a while, we were fighting as the soldiers of fire. Other times we've broken up, been on different teams, always trying to help where we could, but the only way we can help is through bullets and death. But now, after the power surge, after what happened with Scorched Earth, the rest of the team gone. Gallows told me to start over. 
take things back to the roots. So many years have passed, yet it seems like no time at all. This new team. He's now, like, looking at pictures of the team. And at this point, we sort of basically show, like, the stuff that we've already gone through. Like, we explain Nullify's origins. We explain, you know, Doomclaw sort of, like, emerging. Although, Doomclaw, that actually brings up a good point. Sorry. We know how Nullify got here. Atmosphere, we can handle whatever. Adam, I think I get the picture. Doomclaw, so you come from the Fair Forest. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in this world? Oof. I would say... Let me ask you this as a meta question, Pierce. Yeah. Is this Doomclaw's first appearance in, in Superstar oh, Comics? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, cool. So Doomclaw's new character. Yeah, there's new often character. a brand new character. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, I think he's been around long enough. I'm going to say five to ten years. So he's familiar enough... Five, let's say five years. Familiar enough that, to know that these things exist in the world, but not okay. necessarily that, that he's in completely integrated into it or understands everything, but... Is it would be aware of guns, cities, superheroes. Copy, copy, copy. Um, I will say that Doomclaw, while you were sort of, you know, like doing stuff, it's kind of the, your, your little backstory then if you've been here so long is that you were like, you were recruited by Fiat when they sort of like found you. And someone on Fiat said, you know, kind of gave you the standard pitch of like, you know, you're not supposed to be here. We're not going to hold you here, but, but, uh, if you if you want to stay in this world, we have some work for you. Kind of, you know, sure. veiled sure. threat, but you probably, you know. Ooh, tell you what, make a. Um, I would like for you to make a roll utilizing your insight and your analysis. Oh no, insight and espionage. Insight and espionage, and so I basically decide one roll. I basically assign a die to each of these. Is that how this no, works? No, you roll them both, and what you're you right now only need one success. So all you need is for one of those dice to be fourteen or lower. Got it. If they're it. both under, you will get more momentum. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And because I will say that you are analyzing their pack dynamics of these people, if either of the dice is under four, is four or lower, it counts as a double success because okay. you're using your focus. What do you roll? Um, and then I have a double success. I roll a 16 and a 5. Great. So. I'm going to add one to your momentum pool. It's now 5. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. It's coming so, back. It's coming back. Um. So basically, you, you, you got the impression that these were not necessarily bad people, but they, they certainly want to use you, but probably more for, you know, helping keep things stable. And from what you've observed from the forests, it, you know, they don't seem bad. You know, you'd be maybe working with superheroes, although perhaps you, perhaps Doomclaw, your arc is, you think you're joining like a fun hero team and instead you're joining like a murder team because, you know, on the few occasions you've used your claws in this plane. Yeah. It's, it's left an impression in their, in their mind. Um, okay. Uh, nullify, of course, we've kind of gone through your backstory, you know, in the, in the yeah. page explaining this. Also, you've been on the team before. So, yeah. well, actually, I do have a question Please. Uh, about your backstory, Nullify. Did you, like, is it, is it, like, <laughs> is it, like, a daredevil where, like, some chemicals, like, fell off? Is it, like, did, were you plunged into something, like, Joker, where you, like, fell into oh, a I was wrong. Chemicals? I was plunged into something. I was a chemical okay. engineer at the Goodyear plant. Okay. Which is why chemistry is one of my focuses. Understood. Anyway. As well, well as manufacturing, plant organization, and logistics. Yeah. Which, sadly, that part didn't serve. I was going to say, you're accident. probably not that great at that, yeah. right? Like, um, so, um, well, I wasn't in charge of it. That's why I need to know more about it now. So it never happens to me again. Meanwhile, Bloodstar is, you know, now looking well, at like, Nullify's picture and sort of saying, other members of the team. Old, you know, old, old, I wouldn't say friends, old comrades in arms. Nice to have people who know how things work here, as opposed to, and he like looks at Doomclaw, whatever the hell, whatever the bleep this is. Um, he'll look at one of Atmospheria, mm -hmm. like, I hate magic. But, seems like a good power set to have on hand. And I'm not in a position to be dictating anything to Gallows. I'm just here to lead this team to make sure that we operate at peak efficiency to save as many lives as possible. To darken my soul in the name of this country. Um, oh, I'm going to... Actually, would both of you... So, uh, so... 
Pierce, you made headquake. Dan, you you kind of were the thing. Would you both please roll me a d20? Four. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Um. Drum major, also old member. Headquake. Ooh. You said nineteen. Mm-hmm. I'm actually gonna say headquake has been in other comics. Headquake has been on other teams, but she's now being put on this one because that also happens a lot of these things. You know, like they bring sure. in something. Okay. Never been on this team, but no. Okay, so basically, you know, but he's looking at pictures of like of drum major and be you know, kind of like drum major and nullify like old friends, you know, old comrades at arms, or like headquake, like like headquake and atmosphere, like different powers, but but it's a different age. You need as many weapons in the toolbox. His his things spin around on his back. The point is, it now cuts to nullify doom claw. Drum Major, Headquake, Atmospheria, all sitting around this room, which has now been cleaned out. Yeah, oh, it's been a while since I've been here. Drum Major will be like, "Tell me about it." That's I like you. nice. Headquake. Yeah, goes, remind you of home? No. Headquake goes, just for the record, I'm not making, uh, this isn't like one of my illusions meant to mess with your brains. What the hell are you? Oh, uh, I'm a denizen of the fair forest. A fair and, bear. Uh, uh, you could call it be that, I guess. Uh, I was just sort of, you know, I was, uh, Tasked by, uh, I think you guys call him Fiat. Yeah. And since I'm sort of, Fiat. since I was sort of stuck here and I can't really go home, they said I have to help if I want to stay around. And helping doesn't seem like a bad thing. Just remember, you can never go back home. Well, I hope to go back home. That's no. Funny. I mean, like, once you grow and gain the knowledge, you can't ever leave it oh. behind. You, oh, so you mean like metaphorically your, oh, speaking? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. You know, the hero's journey. Drum when, major. He, when Odysseus returns, is he really home? Drum major's just like, God. Drum major says, "Listen, uh, Doom Claw was it?" Well, yeah. I mean, that's sort of the name I was assigned. Your mm-hmm. name and your look and your—he kind of looks at your claws and your those. Yeah, I'm sure you're a frightening thing, but you're. Uh, You've been in a war before. Well, just a sort of a general war for survival. Hmm. Not like an, not like the armed conflicts that you guys seem to engage in with um, shocking frequency. Yeah, but I'm a little interested that you're on this team here. You don't seem to have the. Uh, well. Most of us are veterans one way or another. He kind of glances at, you know, kind of around. Um, Headquake will say, yeah, Doomclaw, you, uh, I don't know, just, uh, or maybe it's all an act. Maybe he just lulls you into this and then he rips your guts out. I mean, when the fight happens, you fight. Hmm. And you win how you have to win. That's so true. But I don't need to carry the fight with me all the time. You fight when you fight. Bloodstar. Some of us are always fighting. Yeah, off-panel, Bloodstar will say, spoken like someone who's never been in a real fight. And at this point, Bloodstar comes in, five-pointed, you know, like murder, murder backpack on. He'll walk in and say, hello, team. Just like old times, right? He's kind of says to nullify and, uh, and drum major. Just like him. My name is Bloodstar, for those of you who haven't met me. And Headquake's like, Really, I never would have guessed that. Since you got the whole bloody star on your back. Atmosphere. Nice to meet you, Bloodstar. I'm yeah. Doomclaw. Hmm. Doomclaw. Interesting vibe. All right, listen. Gallows told me to put this team together. 
Things have been crazy. I don't know if any of you have been affected by the power surges, but now that that seems done, it's time for us to have a stand and, uh, uh, the door opens behind Bloodstar. And a, a voice says, Oh, good. You're all here already. Bloodstar turns back and goes, Baby? Smolder Baby walks in. Um, accompanied by Director Callum. And Bluster's like, I didn't think you'd be rejoining the team. And she goes, well, there's been a couple of changes. And Director Gallo says, thank you all for being here. I'd like you to all meet the new leader of this team, Smolder Baby. Bluster's like, what?
All right. Uh, I'll spend a momentum to get a die. Cool. Spend one momentum. You get an extra die on this roll. Um, well, one of those is a 20. <gasps> Ooh. So that's a failure. Um, oh, that's right. 20s are bad. But one is a three, which is two successes. And another one is an eight, which is also a success. Great. Okay, so you do, you get, you you refill up to six. The 20, though, is a complication. So, oh, yeah. okay, perfect. Here's here's how we'll do this fun. So nullify. This is how you say hello. Basically, in your situation, looking around here, the 20 means you're like shotgun fairy bear. So that's who you're attacking. Right. So as everyone just kind of starts a fight. And I mean, honestly, like Headquake and Drum Major are not so much fighting. They're more just like, you know, like kind of, they're trying to forcefully pull apart Smolder Baby and, and Blood Bloodstar. Meanwhile, Doomclaw, Doomclaw Nullify rushes you. So you two are going to have a fight against each other. So what I need you guys to both do is you're both going to make a roll utilizing your attacking abilities and stuff. Although Nullify, yours is going to be, it really, this is going to be a thing of like, Doomclaw will roll, then you will roll. I will yeah. allow you guys to use your group momentum on these, even though you are at, at odds. Yeah, why not? So yeah, Doomclaw, I'll use one. Doomclaw, I'll use you, one as well. you're being attacked. Okay. Um, oh, do you want me to roll? Do you want me to roll just an attack roll? Um, I think. Oh, oh, just as you you're gonna rush up at him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, because you're gonna try to like provoke him to do that. That's fine. Um. Oh hell yeah. So what did you do? You did brawn and uh, melee. Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter because I rolled one one four. One one four. Yeah. Okay. By spending one, one, yeah. Okay. Uh, Doomclaw, and you spent a momentum. Doomclaw, you're spending a momentum as well. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, so you're going to roll three dice, and you're going to add your melee and your bronze. So it's 16 is your target. Funny enough, one of the dice I rolled is that, like, uh, that core one that uh, Pierce made. Hey! Oh, how about that? Um, three, 14, and a 20. And a 20. Okay, perfect. So, in addition, Nullify, would you please now... Okay, so you, you had... Your three is two successes for you, right, Doomclaw? Yes. Okay. Nullify, would you please now add your tactics? <sighs> I think because you're doing this, I'm going to say daring. Go ahead. It's daring. This is a bold thing you're doing. So it's daring plus tactics. This is an energy absorption. I thought it was melee for... Oh, sorry. Yes. A daring and melee. So sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll spend another momentum to... Get, get the third die. Okay. Um, so I need to hit um, so below 17 or below. I rolled 8, 11, and 15. So, so you have three successes. Okay. Yeah. So basically, what Nullify has done here, because in this case, we're not adding these to the momentum. So Doomclaw, Nullify rushes you and like, and he like, he actually even gets like a punch in on you. And you're like, okay, I guess we're fighting. And you're just like, whatever. So you kind of go, you, you strike at him with one of your claws. And as your claw impacts Nullify, it's like your hand almost goes numb and you can feel like the force of your thing almost like bounce off and he is utterly unharmed. And as you continue fighting, he's now like popping you in the face. Nullify is like not some like amazing fighter, but he's landing punches and your claw strikes are doing, they, the, 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 the force that you're putting into it is, is going nowhere. Okay. So like having like now been like popped and something like that, right? Like yeah. the like sort of like calm face will like start to like curl into a snarl and it sort of becomes like a and I'm just going to try to, I just want to try to grab Nullify. Okay. Pick him up and throw him into Bloodstar and Oh, interesting. Their okay. baby. Um, go ahead. So, but, okay, but the, okay, but you do have your 20 from a moment ago. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I don't know how much that carries over. It's, or it's, it, it's carrying over here in a fun way here, so. Okay. Um, go ahead and, um, roll, this is not claws, because this is just you doing this. Yeah, yeah. So I'll say this is still brawn and melee, but you don't get to add your bonus. You're not, you're not sort of doing your insane sure. slashing. So just roll, roll those two together. A uh, four and an 11. So that's three successes. Three successes. Okay, cool. So he basically. Because it's more than four this. is a double success, right? Correct. Yeah. A, yeah, yeah. A Less, un yeah. Under four. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, nullify, would you also... Well, is this one of his focuses? That's not... Oh, wait, it's not. Oh, it's, it's not, not your so... focus, so it's only two. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I understand now. Okay, nullify. Give me another energy absorption. Okay. Um, I'll spend a momentum. Why not? Um... That is seven, fifteen, and seventeen. So three more successes. Three more successes. So again, Doomclaw. So this. I, oh, oh. This will be a fun. This will be a fun thing. So Doomclaw, as you go enraged and nullify. This time, though, it's because like there's a weird thing where like you do feel the energy passing through you, and if like you're if like you're really ready for it, like it's kind of this. But like these now enraged attacks because like, his his like, he's actually more of rage. He now like grabs you and tries to throw you, but because you're taking all his kinetic energy it's like all that's left is in his body doomclaw basically like reaches at you and like slams himself into the ground <laughs> like all the all the energy he was trying to do put put putting up like doesn't go anywhere and he kind of falls to the ground um wow okay it's like i'll say one bear was too strong this bear was too weak and this guy is just right Um, in the meantime, so as you guys do this sort of fight, it's like nullifies, just like, you know, absorbing all this stuff and now his whatever. D Doomclaw, as you're sort of standing up and realizing like, okay, gonna have to focus on this. Because what you guys just did there, by the way, and it's fun that we never got into this, is all you ever did was use one momentum at a time. You can't use more. What if you yeah. could have just taken the whole pool and tried to decimate the yeah. end? So yeah, but usually you're not going to be combating each other so this was all just some goofiness the point is doomclaw is you're kind of like okay so like one we've now seen doomclaw angry but two we've seen nullify be able to do this and he is like a you know a veteran person here so right. doomclaw is you're kind of like whoa weird meanwhile you guys look up and uh and drum major go well i'll be damned and you see that um like over on the other side is like drum major like drum major and headquake and seem to be kind of you know like like disheveled from some stuff but like smolder baby is on blood stars like she's got him like pinned down and like he's like pull, like he's got she got him in like an arm lock you know like kneeling on his back like pulling him up like that and she says like i was saying i'm in charge now and then she kind of like <laughs> throws him to the ground and uh stands up and says Mission briefing at five. We've got work to do. And she kind of walks over talking to Gallows. Hey, Bloodstar, put that thing away. Bloodstar just kind of, like, sits up. What the hell is this team? You heard her. It's Fireflight. Fine. If the boss says we have a mission, he stands up and goes, let's do them. At exclamation mark, hashtag ampersand in mission. All right. Go off to do a mission. There we go. So I would say the top flight issue number. Oh yeah, go ahead if you guys have any closing closing words, please. If you have no. any closing quips, definitely quip, quip it up. No, no closing quips in in, in a bear rage. In a bear, it's, it's just doom claws. It's, like, like, it's gonna take some time. I'm gonna have to meditate to like come down out of the <laughs> doom claws. Like, oh man, this I'm I'm already getting I'm already getting in fights with the team. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, so I would say that at that point, so issue 10 of Top Flight Tales was a short story featuring, uh, you know, like Fireflight, but it also was like a big dossier and all the new members, you know, it's like one of oh, the sure. issues. So that's kind of a thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe there were some backup stories, that, like, like you know, little one page things of, of various people doing stuff like that. So, okay, well, very good. Well, that's, that's the end. Uh, Sophia says the name Smolder Baby is going to haunt me forever. You don't like Smolder Baby, Sylvia? I think it's a weird name. What's the opposite of haunt? Uh, leave alone? Depart me? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay. Will it depart you forever? Or, or, um... Yeah, call me the departed. What is... What is what? 
I was trying to think of like what is like a, like a term for like ephemeral, something that just doesn't even delight. Delight is the opposite of haunt. Get it. Um, well, okay. Well, that was that was. Well, thank you guys the for indulging delighting us. Delighting in at Hell House. We kind of, as you can tell, we had some sort of weird, you know, some some player here, there, and whatever, and we jumped into some silliness. But yeah. we we've now created yet another fun superhero team to follow in this game at times. This one's fun. Um, Fireflight's very fun. We'll we'll come back to this in the uh, uh, KJ will hate it with so much. Yeah. All you know. All I've ever oh, wanted is to. I shouldn't have uh, revealed who all the players are because now KJ. Oh well, whatever. Maybe KJ will be fine being Headquake or something, or or uh, or Drug Major or Smolder Baby. Or he yeah, KJ can be Smolder Baby. <laughs> KJ is just slowly going to become the leader of all the teams in to on our in top <laughs> Yeah. There's a million different systems you have to use. Please have all your dice handy for all of them. Also, you're in charge of all of them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, very good. Uh, well, thank you all uh, for watching. This was a lot of fun. Um, we have some other games on this channel. On Friday, join us for more Blood from a Stone. When last we met them, uh, the dwarves had delved too deep, and something is coming up from the from the the old dwarvish caverns below, long sealed for centuries. Uh, so that'll like kick things thing. off pretty rough. Um, on um, when we go to uh, on Sunday, we're back with uh, Here Be Dragons. That's right. So let's check out them dragons uh, as they uh, try to create our religions. Our grassroot religion, like grassroot campaign to create a religion. Exactly. Um, on by just handing out flyers and buying breakfast. By changing minds one one eggs Benny at a time. Um, on Monday, we are back with the Dreamlands, and as of now, it is looking like uh, it's alive as the is the yeah, runaway it's... favorite for this week. Uh, many far wiser than we. It's now its sixth week of being voted on. It's never gonna. It's, I feel bad. It's like tied maybe twice, maybe only one. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, join us for that. And then a week from to, to today, we will be back with more Top Flight Tales. Go to our uh, YouTube to watch old episodes, our Discord to interact with us. Go to our uh, the wiki to see how all these games interact. Um, gentlemen, anything to plug, talk about? Uh, damn. Baseball's yeah. back, baby, and better than ever. Um, I would, I would, this is a really roundabout Mamzuka thing, but there's a reason for it. I'm going to recommend, not wholeheartedly, it's a decent movie, but Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. And the reason for it, and the reason I'm going to recommend it on this show, is there's a character. I was watching this character. Like, first of all, it's set in Plymouth, so everyone has Massachusetts accents, except our core cast for some reason. But um, there's a character named uh, uh, McCarty, played by Joe Delphin, who is like this towny character. And I went, that is exactly who Dustin Howell is. It hit me in the middle of the movie. I was like, this guy who is kind of weird and kind of creepy, but also a good guy underneath it all and kind of helpful and kind of has people's good heart. And sort of charming. Like, and sort of charming, okay. but also is the guy that's like holding the, the party for the high schoolers where he'll he'll sell them alcohol. Oh, that's ever. Yeah. That's ever it's like, is. that is Dustin Howell through and through. So that's what I'm going to recommend. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Well, great. Yeah, that's good that's old Dustin Howell. Today. He's always he's always lurking. And it's a it's an okay horror movie. Not charming, Sophia. What do you mean? What you don't like Dustin Howell? He's not on your, he's got on your list of, of 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 NPC crushes along with Dustin Howell. Etienne saved the world single handedly. I'm pretty sure Sophia's Sophia, if I understand correctly, Sophia's favorite favorite male characters in ascending order. Dustin Howell, Soldier Etienne Fortune. Renee, and Jake. Three favorite guys. And the Soldier of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> uh, Gallagher and Saber, I mean, we salvaged that. We won that series in San Diego. So, I mean, we went three and four. And, like, I mean, yeah, obviously we're going to get shit against the Dodgers because they're just, they just bought baseball. But, uh, Burn. you know, Dodgers we'll see how it goes. Baseball. Wait, Sophia, would do you dislike the Soldier of Fortune more than those three guys I just said? Would he rank higher on your list of guys you dislike? I feel like, I feel like Sophia came around on him when you did the solo episode. Didn't see the solo episode. Sophia famously didn't see the solo episode and is the only person who didn't come around. Interesting. Interesting. That's the Sophia. Sophia had a very rude awakening where, where Sophia basically, I feel like, was saying, why the hell does everybody like the Soldier of Fortune now? <laughs> he killed her all legs. Course. Oh, yeah. I didn't even put Course in the list, but yeah, Course would be. Well, Course. Yeah, Soldier of Fortune. Fortune. I thought the photographer killed Rollins. Yeah, but the Soldier of Fortune. 
abandoned him there. Yeah. It was it was the soldier of fortune. It, ra basically, Rawlings by just trusting the soldier of fortune. That's why he died. Oh well, you never trust a soldier of fortune. It's right there in the name. Indeed. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. This has been very fun. Um, we appreciate you all watching, and until next time, have a top night. <laughs>